Hello there everyone and welcome to another moth video. It's currently um, December. In fact, we are very close to 1 January 2019. And in winter the hatching of moths has slowed down. However, a few species uh, that I breed in captivity have the habit of hatching very late in the year, in December and January. And these species are generally Rodinia species. We are currently looking at one of those species. This is the Rodinia verecunda. And it's found in Taiwan. It was thought to be endemic to Taiwan. Although there's a chance it can also be found in mainland China. But the reports on this aren't really very clear to me. It's sitting on a cocoon, but don't be confused. This is not a cocoon of this species. This is a cocoon of an atlas moth. I just happened to want to sit there and I let it be. Because if you disturb this species, it will fly away very quickly. So it's better to uh, not to bother it too much. This is a male. Females are much bigger and uh, are rather yellow, yellowish than brown. But are still very colorful. Um, Rodinia verecunda moths naturally hatch in uh, in winter and autumn. So this is December and January, and this is when temperatures in their natural habitat are actually cooler. I think right now it's between 15 uh, degrees Celsius, maybe 15, 16 degrees Celsius, which is uh, for Taiwanese standards, it's chilly. And I guess um, the moths have an advantage when they do this. Maybe they face less predators uh, during the cooler times of the year. So not in summer. And uh, the other Saturnidae that come from this island have the same habit. For example, Caligula uh, tibeta, uh, Caligula simla, are all species found in Taiwan. Also Caligula japonica, and they all hatch in winter and autumn. Uh, there's Lepa Mirandula from Taiwan, it's just the same thing. There's also Saturnia Piratorum, although people think that one's all introduced species. But still, and many of these spinters, uh, species overwinter as eggs. And the species I'm showing you right now also overwinters as egg. This explains why the adults can fly in cooler temperatures, because their eggs are not going to hatch straight away. They're going to wait for spring when things do get warmer and that's when the caterpillars come out to feed and it also explains why this one has beautiful autumn colors like a dead leaf so you may have seen my video about Rodinia fugax and they're not at all similar in pictures these species may look similar but when you're in real life you see there are actually massive differences the underside is also very cool to see Really nice moth. So, Taiwanese Rodinia Verricuna. Remember the name, moth lovers, and thanks for watching. Until next time.